Hello and uh, welcome to this next video on uh, basic electrical repairing. In the last video, we tried to understand the connections on a live uh, electric board. We understood how the neutral is connected, where the face is connected and how the switches are placed, how the socket is placed. In this video, we will try and understand how to detect faults in the circuit board. Many a times, let us say, uh, if a particular electrical equipment or component is not working in a particular room, you may need to open up the switchboard to determine where the fault is. For example, uh, now we uh, the tube light in this room is not working and so we opened up the board to see what could be the problems. Normally, when you open up a board, the first thing that you do is do a visual inspection of any loose wires hanging around. And this will tell you if there is any disconnection in the wires. This is a very easy way of trying to identify if there is any uh, disconnection at any point in time. For example, here we see that there is one loose wire there and it is not connected to any particular part. Now, it is possible that this is the wire that supplies the uh, power to the tube light. So, we need to check which point the tube light switches and see if there is supply that is coming in on the switch. So, you can touch the face part of the switch and see if there is any power coming through. If there is power coming through, then this wire is probably the reason why the tube light is not uh, glowing because the phase is not connected to the tube light as of now. So, in order to do correct this problem, we hold the wire using a plier and while you are doing it, please use a plier to it. It has insulation at the end. Never touch the metal part in it because this could uh, result in uh, an electrical shock. So, you hold it from the insulated part and try and connect the wire to the upper portion of the switch and keep the switch on. Now, when we touch this, if the light glows, that basically means that this is the correct connection and this connection has come off and that is the reason why the tube light is not glowing. So, use the plier to position the connection properly within this and tighten the screw using a tester. You can also use an insulated screwdriver to do it. Now, while you are doing this, uh, so you can switch off the power supply from behind and ensure that you are doing it with safety in mind. So, essentially, these uh, loose contacts can happen in many switchboards. Uh, many a times, the screws in these switchboards might have uh, dust or carbon uh, which could probably pile up on them and that can result in the connections not working properly. So, whenever you find that there is a, a fault in the room, first of all do a visual inspection. Second, check whether there is uh, any loose contact in any of the screws and whether all the wires are tucked in properly. Third is you can check whether the face is coming in in the respective points. Now, we have already seen how to detect or how to check face across all these points. So, once you have the face checked up, fourth is you can check the second side of the switch to see if there is power transferred from the face to the other side of the switch. If there is no power supply happening from one side of the switch to the other, that means that the switch is probably not working properly and you may need to replace the switch. So, these are the steps with which you try and understand where the error is. Now, if there is a problem in the face, you can find out using these methods. But if there is a problem in the neutral, you may not be able to check it with a tester because the neutral does not carry any power there. In order to check the neutral, you will have to use a test lamp like this. So, when you place a test lamp in the neutral and connect it to one of the face, if the test lamp glows, then you can understand that the neutral connection is proper. Many a times, if the connection between the neutral end at the mains to the neutral end at the circuit board is not correct or if there is a disconnection there, you may have a problem. So, first uh, we have checked all the phases, the phases are perfectly fine. So, we are going to place one end of the lamp to the face and we are going to keep the other end on the neutral. So, when we keep the other end on the neutral, if the bulb glows, it means that the neutral line from the mains to the circuit board is intact and there is no problem with that. So, we connect the neutral to the neutral point and you can see that the light is glowing now. This basically indicates that the neutral connection is also 
proper, there is no breakage anywhere in between. However, if you do not see the light coming on, that could mean that there is a problem in the connection between the neutral at the board main level to the board level. You can also check the earthing using the bulbs. When you touch the earthing with the neutral connection or the second connection, you will see that there are small sparks coming through and the bulb is not glowing. This means that the earthing is not proper, somewhere the earthing is disconnected and you need to get the earthing checked. Normally, if the earthing is proper, you will be able to see the light glow there. Uh, typically here in this case, we are seeing a very old board which is probably 30, 40 years old and the earthing as you can see is completely rusted and this could be the reason why the earthing is not proper. In which case, you will have to replace the entire earthing. You can even try connecting uh, the bulb directly to the earthing point here. So, one end connected to the face and the other end connected to the earthing point to check if the uh, earthing is working at this point in order to check whether the wire between this point and the socket point is where the problem is. So, we are going to connect it here and see if the bulb glows. Now, even after we do this, the bulb is not glowing which basically means that the earthing is disconnected somewhere and there is some problem with the earthing. So, if that is the case, you will be able to detect whether there is a problem in the earthing line. So, this is normally how you check whether the phase line, the neutral line and the earthing line coming in into a circuit board is functioning properly or not. A quick recap of whatever we just saw, you in order to check faults or detect faults in circuit boards, first open up, do a visual inspection, see if there are any loose wires and try fix the loose wires, tighten the screws which connect the switches, check the connecting points of the switches to ensure that switches are intact and then uh, test the phase line to ensure that there is phase coming into the switches. If not, move on to the neutral line and you can check the neutral line using the indicator lamp that we just saw. Connecting the indicator lamp to a phase line and the neutral line will tell you whether the neutral line is intact. If the neutral line is intact, you can also check the earthing line by connecting the bulb one end to the phase line and one end to the earthing line. And this way you will be able to figure out where the problem is exactly in the connections there. Now, you must remember that while doing all of these because you are working on live wire, you need to take care of all the safety precautions that are necessary. Precautions including uh, ensuring that you are wearing your shoes or slippers while you are doing it, not touching the wires with bare hands or not working with wet hands while you are doing any of these things. So, we do hope you will have learnt a lot about understanding or detecting falls in a live circuit board. Continue learning. Thank you very much.